Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's March 26, 2019. Hoping you're having a wonderful day, a blessed day indeed. Want to talk about the situation with Israel uh, first, all right? There's been exchanges of uh, rocket fire, uh, airstrikes between Israel and Gaza. Uh, for a few hours, uh, there was some talks of a ceasefire mitigated by Egypt, uh, but it seems like that ceasefire was either untrue or both sides didn't agree because uh, the exchanges of fire just kept on happening between the two sides. Uh, and honestly, at this point, we don't know if it's going to die down. Schools have been closed, uh, and, and it, it, both factions basically look like they're not willing to give in at this point. Uh, now, this doesn't mean that some sort of ceasefire won't happen just because, you know, like I said before, it's Israel and, uh, and Hamas. You know, stuff like this happens, uh, and it's pretty common. Uh, but this, this seems a little bit more uh, intense, so we need to continue to watch this situation, watch this area very closely. All right. I want to also talk about uh, Russia and Venezuela. All right. John Bolton, former ambassador John Bolton, uh, via Twitter uh, told Russia that they were uh, conducting a dangerous escalation by sending troops to Venezuela. We have rumored intelligence uh, that there is um, there's almost 400, if not 400, troops from Russia now in Venezuela to protect Maduro. Okay, and we have U.S. officials coming out and stating that. Uh, this is a dangerous escalation, that they should not be in the Western Hemisphere, uh, that, that uh, the U.S. will not stand for it. What, what that entails, I don't know, but it definitely seems like it's a dangerous escalation. Uh, there's rolling blackouts happening in Venezuela uh, this evening as well. I think it's 18 out of their 32 states currently have a blackout, um, so I don't know if it's more cyber attacks or what. But it's pretty crazy, the situation happening in Venezuela, and uh, the media is just not talking about it. They're not talking about the Russian troops or the Russian hardware that has been sent to Venezuela to protect Maduro. Uh, you know, basically, they've been pretty silent on that whole situation for the past week to two weeks, you know. So it's a situation we have to continue to watch uh, because that could get very dangerous very quickly, uh, you know. At this point, we, we got to wonder, is the U.S. still tr trying to uh, intervene in Venezuela, or has this Russian move stalled that or stopped it completely? Uh, at any case, you, you see U.S. officials uh, saying things like, the U.S. won't stand for it, it's a dangerous escalation, and you've got to think, you know, where is this going to lead, you know? Uh, we are also have rumored intelligence uh, that there is terror intel uh, inside India, all right, and some people are believing that this is a uh, false flag attempt to strike uh, Pakistan. Uh, take that with a huge grain of salt. All right, um, I could only find a few sources on that, uh, so that's something we have to continue to watch. But I've been saying let's watch India and Pakistan for a while now. Uh, but basically, those are the three big things I wanted to talk about: Israel and Hamas. Russia, Venezuela, the United States, and India and Pakistan, because uh, things are getting very crazy out there. We need to keep our eyes peeled, take everything with a pinch of salt. You know, don't believe everything you read. Uh, check for sources. But, I mean, man, things are getting very out of hand, very scary, dangerous escalations all around. We need to continue to watch this. As more information about it comes out, I'll talk to you guys about it. We'll, we'll discuss it, all right? Grab a beer, say a few prayers, and as always, keep your eyes to the skies. God bless.